Good morning, students. I hope everybody enjoyed that long weekend. Welcome to Monday morning video announcements on Tuesday morning. We seem to be doing a lot of that lately. Today is Happy National World Book Day. And a book, for those students that don't know, is one of those things that has pages in it that you turn. It's not electronic, so just letting you guys know. We have one month left of school, so congratulations there. All right, before we start, can everyone please stand and face the flag? And we'll begin with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, it's always a pleasure to have someone from the administration in the building. So today we have the great and wonderful Mrs. Belfram with our Students of the Week and some air test reminders. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Hope you enjoyed your long week and are rested up for the rest of air testing. On tomorrow, we will have our math assessment. On Thursday, another math assessment. And then on Friday, our eighth graders will take science. So again, I wanna give you a couple reminders. Get a, a good rest, have a great breakfast in the morning so that you're ready to go. Charge up those Chromebooks so that you have that with you without needing an extra cord. And don't forget to bring your calculator. Remember the TI-30, the same calculator you've been using all year in class, are the calculators that you're able to use. Eighth graders, you can use your calculator on both days. On seventh graders, you can use it on day two of testing only. Again, eighth graders both days, seventh graders day two testing only on Thursday. So don't forget to bring your calculator. What if they forget? Also, what if they forget their calculator, Miss Belkin? If you forget a calculator, ask your teacher and you may be able to borrow one. If not, there is a calculator that will pop up on the screen on your Chromebook, but you would have to use the online calculator. So you can use either one. Great question, Mr. Harris. The other thing is, Feel free to bring earbuds for both um, for all three days of testing. If you prefer to listen to things being read aloud, every student has access to turn on their mic and listen to the test being read. So if you're a person who loves to hear it, bring your earbuds because that will be available for all students. But you do need to bring your own earbuds in. Okay. And again, good luck, guys. You've done a great job with e English language arts, and we are excited to see you knock math out the park, as well as science. All right, we'll transition to our students of the week. First, we have Emily Daly. Come on over. Hi. Emily, you were nominated for Mr. Teets for being a problem solver. Thank you so much for all your hard work and Thank doing you. a great job. There you are. Next, we have Vin Vivian Henry. Come on over. Vivian, you were nominated by Mrs. Tallman, so thank you for doing a great job and being a problem solver. Thank you. Have a great morning. Next, we have Ashley Cousineau. Ashley, you were nominated by Mrs. Swenson, so thank you for doing a great job in thank science. You. Have thank a great you. day. You too. And last but certainly not least, we have Lindsay Ruskins. And thank you for being a problem solver in Mr. Tanaka's class and continue the great work. Thank you. Have a fantastic day. Thank you to all of our students of the week and their hard work. All right, thank you, Ms. Belfram. She does such a great job with that. All right, Ultimate Frisbee, if, you would if you're 14 years old and or you'll be 14 by May 30th, please sign up for the Sycamore Ultimate Frisbee team. Team will play games on Tuesday nights and practice on Monday afternoons. If you're interested, please send an email to Mrs. Cooper at the high school. That's Cooper K at sycamoreschools.org. And I think we flashed up a little poster up there for you guys to see. And she put posters up in the hallways. All right. All right. Now we have Mr. DeJoy with our Athletes of the Week. Okay, thank you, Mr. Harris, and happy Tuesday morning, everybody. Hey, we're talking baseball and softball this week. And to my right, your left, we have Mara Thomas, who plays on our softball team. And um, Coach Meyer said, Mara's an eighth grader who has done an outstanding job for the Aviators. This young lady is a talented catcher, consistently produces at the plate, and is a very smart base runner. Mara has earned our leadoff hitting spot because of her ability to hit the ball hard, far, and often. Her batting average and on-base percentage are amazing. 
She continues to keep us competitive and a threat to any team we play against. She is a super hard worker, always has a positive attitude, very coachable, and is a super nice kid. That's awesome. Her coaches know she will continue to be successful on and off the field. We are very proud of her and look forward to watching her grow into an outstanding high school softball player. Mara, congratulations. Thank Great you. job. That's an awesome write-up. Good luck today as you play that team up north in Warren County. All right, we won't mention their name, but good luck today. All right? Thank okay, you. Mara, thank you. And next, uh, baseball. Matthew. Hey, Matt, how you doing? Have a seat. Everyone, this is Matthew Bond, and he plays on our baseball team, coached by our wonderful Mr. Harris and Coach Richie. And he is our Athlete of the Week, and Matt is an important contributor. He is one of those athletes that coaches love. He hustles all the time and is always ready to lend a helping hand whenever he is asked. He plays a solid first base and is a major reason why the baseball team has gotten off to a 4-2 and two start. Matthew is a selfish player who, whose only concern is how to make the team better. And for that reason and for his excellent effort, we, he is, we have honored him to be Athlete of the Week for Baseball. So, hey, congratulations. Great job. Here is your write-up, man, and your certificate. Excellent. Next week, we're going to focus on track. And with that, back to Mr. Harris. Thank you, Mr. DeJour. Right. We the People, reminder, you're meeting Thursday and Friday this week at 7 a.m., Please have question one of your unit answered in the Google Doc that reflects the first four minutes of your presentation. Those students who would like the high school version of the book for additional research information, please stop by Mr. Hammer's room in room 200 to pick that up. And now we're back to Mr. DeJoy, but he's got his sidekick, Mr. Stern, <laughs> our distinguished men of character, with our character awards. Okay, thank you again, Mr. Harris. And, hey, this week... Um we like to honor, for one of our character awards, Mrs. Wheaton, and she is one of our educational assistants here at school. And this person wrote, Mrs. Wheaton is always willing to help. She is very nice, and we really like her. So thank you, Mrs. Yeah. Wheaton, for everything you do, and, uh, and uh, please continue to keep up the great work. I have a nomination here for Heidi Jaeger or Jaeger. It says, Heidi is a very kind and sweet person. She always asks me how I am. Uh, with a smile, no matter what is going on in her life. She's an amazing friend and always helps me whenever I ask without hesitation. Heidi is stupendous. So, <laughs> Heidi, we have a T-shirt for you uh, in room 220 if you can come down uh, during an aviator bell at some point. Hey, I got stopped in the hall the other day. All a right. young man said, hey, you're, you're that guy from announcements. <laughs> and I said... I am, and he said, you're much grayer in real life. Wow. So, Ooh. Thank you. I am much grayer in real life. Hey, we make sandwiches on Thursday, but you can make a difference any day of the week. Have a great day. I get that. Usually they say that I'm, I'm much better looking than I am on the TV, but we'll see. Really? All right, student council, get out. <laughs> student council, you're meeting Wednesday after school until 4 o'clock in Mrs. Rutledge's room. First class ticket store, you're going to be open this Friday, April 26th at lunch. So bring your first class tickets when you go to lunch on Friday. Sycamore High School Color Guard is hosting clinics for all 8th graders who are interested in doing Color Guard next fall. Come and see what Color Guard is all about while also learning how to spin a flag, dance, and more. The clinics will be April 29th, 30th, and May 2nd at the high school from 5.30 to 7 p.m. Calling all aviators, Squadron 2019 no, needs you. After last year's second place finish in the state, Squadron 209 for the boys' water polo is searching for new recruits. If you're interested in playing water polo at the high school next year, please have your parents attend an informational meeting on Thursday, April 25th at, the, at 730 in the high school's innovation lab. As always, we welcome brand new players. All right, so have a good time with that. All right, if you can't make the meeting, please contact Coach Helwig at aviatorpolo at gmail.com. Technology Club members, the last Tech Club meeting is this Wednesday, April 24th, in the Media Center from 315 to 430. And as many students may know, we had two uh, classes, uh, an eighth grade class and a seventh grade class, who are designing T-shirts to raise money for charity. We're going to be selling those T-shirts at lunch on Friday. So please bring uh, money down to order those at lunch on Friday. That information about cost of those shirts is included in the announcements. So we have a short commercial for that. That is all of our announcements today. After this video, have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow. Good luck on your air testing.